city. Chunks of ice the size of baseballs, we all remember that. It pummeled everything in its path. A lot of families here in the metro are still busy trying to make those home repairs. If you don't have a lot of money and maybe no insurance, there is a way to get your home fixed and it might not cost you anything. Charles Bassett joins us now with more on that. Charles? Well, Kelly, the city has federal grant money. The money is available every year to help low-income families, and right now, there's not even a long waiting list. Contractors are putting the finishing touches on Mark Majerus's home. He got a new roof and a new paint job. Roofers, they got done about four days and did a real clean job. Majerus is disabled and he doesn't have insurance, so he qualified for federal grant money through the Oklahoma City Housing Exterior Maintenance Program. He didn't have to pay any money out of his pocket for the repairs. And this program really helps people out there that are in low income, stuff like that. Michelle Henderson found herself in a similar situation. She has insurance, but not enough to cover a new roof, plus the windows she lost in the hailstorm. The cost to her with the grant money? None. Zero. And look what I got. Uh -huh. I'm very happy. Oklahoma City gets about $400,000 a year from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, to fund the program. Families who qualify can get up to $13,500 for repairs. We only address exterior maintenance violations, which means if the siding was damaged to the property or the roofing or broken windows, we can do all those things. It takes anywhere from three to six months to go through the approval process. These homeowners were already enrolled when the hailstorm hit. So the timing couldn't have been better for them to get the repairs done. I don't regret it. People need to get out there and get their application in and see if they qualify because it's available. To and on the downside, if you live in a rental property or a mobile home, those homes do not qualify for the program. Kelly. All right, Charles. Check with your own municipality to see if such a program is available. We know that Oklahoma City, Norman, and Midwest City all participate in the program.